Hello, it's an exciting moment again today. My name is Apostle Helen Rudokeno and welcome to this beautiful day. Um, as you know, we began uh, a discussion last week uh, discussing on uh, uh, the equation of uh, the new Ghana regions. And today, our topic is correcting deprivation of Ghana's voter region issues and solutions. So, uh, permit me to give you the introduction. Uh, this broadcast seeks to be focused on socio-economic issues prevalent in the voter region of Ghana. It is believed that this region is one of the deprived ones among the country's previously 10 but now 16 regions. In an earlier episode, we discussed whether the newly created regions uh, were a real or just a political necessity. However, in this episode, we want to look at practical needs and possible solutions to the deprivation that has lingered for a very long time. Join us if you want to discuss some of the issues and possible solutions. So share your thoughts with us. Watch and learn and contribute via YouTube. Um, What's up on plus three one six two six zero four six four three two or Facebook. You can watch us live uh, on Voice of Niger. Remember as well, you can give us a call on the studio line, which is plus three one two zero three three. 74160. Join in this very interesting discussion. So I welcome all our guests. Thank you. Our Thank panelists, I welcome all of you. Thank you. For those of you who are just uh, tuning in for the first time, uh, by my right, I start with uh, uh, Ifo Ben. Say hello to our audience, please. Um, my name is uh, Ben Adeli. I say hello to everybody. Uh, I was on the program um, some few weeks ago, and today, uh, the program continues. Yeah, if for the lap, please, can you say hello to our audience, please? Yeah, hello. Uh, my great greetings to our viewers. Yes, uh, we are just here to continue with the uh, discussions uh, on the Volta region. Chief Nee, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Can you please say hello to our audience? Well, as usual, <laughs> we are here again, and uh, I'm so el elated. This opportunity has come once again to discuss this issue. And we have the only she among them, Miss Ruti. Say hello to our audience. Hello, my name is Ruth Bonnie. I wish we we're going to have a fruitful discussion. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we, we have uh, Efo Prince, please say hello to our audience. Hello, this is Efo Prince. I say hi to everybody. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> well, those of you who are also watching us from uh, the United States and in other part of the world, feel free to give us a call on 020 um, 3374. One six zero, or make your comments on the YouTube uh, or the uh, Facebook uh, or channel, and then we will read out your contributions. So, welcome, gentlemen and lady. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. So, um, I want us to shoot off from uh, the number one question. What are some of the key issues playing, pledging, or playing the voter region? What are some of the key issues plaguing the voter region? Um, some of, yeah, some of the issues which which has come up, which you want to make known, maybe by this by this broadcast to the world, that which is is not um, the way it's supposed to be. Uh, well, uh, can I come in? Yeah. Uh, well, I Let's think uh, voter region is um, one of the deprived regions in Ghana. In the sense that uh, economically we are not uh, in a very good standing. In the sense that uh, in the voter region you cannot even boast of uh, a factory which can employ people who have completed their education. So mm -hmm. after completing uh, your education, you have to come down to the greater Accra region or Accra to look for job. Uh, and also, uh, there are some basic things that uh, we need in the country, that uh, in the region that will let us develop. For example, good infrastructure. We don't have good roads that can open up the region. We don't have them. So uh, to travel, to have a, a very short distance, it will take you ages. And uh, so in all, I could, I could say that there are a lot of uh, issues that are militating towards our development as a region. 
comparing us to other regions. And I think uh, this is what I can now say. I think uh, the rest of my panelists to have a lot to contribute towards this issue. Well, if I can come in, last week, the question that was very important that we started discussing is this creation of new regions, is it just is it just a political gimmicks maneuver of the new of the government in power to create tension or division or is it just is this a real necessity? So that question we, we really didn't conclude it. Then when the question started a lot of things came out because we cannot avoid the the, the elephant in the room and start looking for the dust. <laughs> oh yes. So Volta region is a region that came out of Transvolta Togo land. And the people of the Gold Coast Togo Gold Coast Ghana, they think they have gold, diamond, silver, cocoa, timber, and Volta region has nothing. So they will not develop it. For sixty years they didn't. So if you don't want to develop the land, there was a rice farm, they, they closed it. There was a sanctuary sugar factory, they closed it. There was something near Bato, I remember, I don't know which factory, and they said the, uh, the MPP government is coming to take the machines away. The MPP government that time didn't say it's going to supply electricity for that factory to be operated. But they are, so the, the chiefs and the youth say they are waiting for whoever is coming to take the machine. So now the machine is in that region, that town, rotten. So this is the very important thing that is going on. So when this government started saying they are going to create, touch our region and divide it, and we know it is just a political gimmick to create hatred and incite uh, anger and other things and divide the region so that at the end of it, or because a lot of people in that region, the Chimboros, speak a lot of Akan language, they will support them. They just did it to break the NDC stronghold. Okay, thank you. That's from your own point of view. Okay. Yes, let me uh, hear others. If I will come in here. Please do. Uh, we are now happening on an issue of deprivation, lack of development. Yes. Uh, to be very candid to our viewers, I want to say, well, emphatically, that if you travel towards Akosombo and you cross the Adomi Bridge and you enter Volta region, from the end of the Adomi Bridge, driving towards Asikuma Junction, the only factory you see is at Juapon, Testiles factory. If you pass Juapon, you will drive through a fallow land as far as as, Ushari, as Kuma Junction mm -hmm. before you branch towards who it is sad you see land lying there with nothing. Mm. I want to be very blunt here. There have been well educated Volterians. I don't want to mention names. Yes. Professors, doctors, and what have you? What have they advocated for? for development or business ventures, factories for the youth of the region. And for 50 years, I will limit it to 50 years now, they have attained high positions in the country. And even a political party that has its birth rate or birthplace from the voter region can be in power for, I mean, years, and yet, nothing is happening there. Who do you blame? Those, even I can vouch to say now, even a Speaker of Parliament, a whole Speaker of Parliament, hmm. came from the region. Hmm. There are doctors, lawyers, professors. And then you ask yourself, what are they actually looking for as far as the development of the region is concerned? It's rather unfortunate, but that is the situation we find ourselves in now. If today indigenous are clamoring for a separate region, they must first domestically ask their leaders or the intellectuals from the region their contribution towards 
the, their birthplace, their, their region. Now, as I speak, Volta region is part of Ghana. We have everything there, and even we have a military base there, an artillery division, formerly called the uh, Home Motor, Motor Regiment. We have a, a police headquarters, we have a regional hospital, we have everything. But ask yourself, apart from this government institution, nothing more is happening there. And who do you blame? Who exactly. do we blame now? That's a very good one. Uh, well, if I okay. can come in. No, no, no. no. Okay. Let, um, let, 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 us, let me hear from April. Okay. Okay. With, with this issue, I think um, none of this government will come and develop was a water region. Why? Because we know, they know that we are state by our state. Uh, the water region is a, is a country by itself. And in 50 years, they are going to separate from Ghana. But as they are uh, waiting to see whether we will come out and come out and separate from Ghana, we couldn't do it. That is why nothing good will come out from water region. I think the, the, the contribution, if you permit me to say, I don't really endorse that your, your, your answer because I'm thinking you should have given us a little bit clue to what uh, Chief Ni nee just said. Because if you have been having top, top people, you know, professors, doctors, and all of those, uh, they said, in those high, high offices, they were involved in the government. Yeah. It wasn't as if they were not part of the government of Ghana. They were in high offices. What did they advocate for the Volta region? Well, because if I am in an office and I'm from Volta, I think I would look into the necessary, the look into the infrastructures that are not there and look for a way to fight for it so it will come. That is, that so it's not as if they were denied uh, not to no, be in parliament. They were in parliament. Um, they have to apply. But uh, they never let, applied that wisdom. Let, let me yeah, come they in. They never applied. That is why we are still here. You and let, me, let me come okay, in. Okay, for Ben. Uh, when we, all these things boil down to the truth that the people of the Volta region or the British Togoland or Western Togoland mm -hmm. are, part, are not part of Ghana. If they are considered as part of Ghana, they should have taken care of that part of the land. That's it. Uh, if we mention about, we start to talk about intellectuals and um, all the, the big people who are in power not developing that area, I don't get it very well for them because it is their duty they have not been able to do it. They, most of them are now in Accra. They don't care about where they come from, their birthplace. And it is making it difficult for the youth to accept that they will, be, they will continue to be in that state. The youth are now saying it is too much for them. They don't want to be part of Ghana. They have been bound to them. They have become slaves in Ghana and they want to be on their own. They want to try something to see if they can be able to uh, be on their own, if they can be able to develop their area. When uh, we started talking about uh, division in the region, the saying goes that if division can bring development, then Total freedom will bring more better development. That's become the slogan. I don't want us to rely too much on people who are satisfied, people who are who, who fed themselves and their families, and the, the, the poor are suffering in the villages. Then you should have started this thing earlier before this time, because for me, 50 solid years, 60 years. Being in the same place, this shouldn't be called a it is, governmental it, it, negligence. No, 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 no. It is I don't not see that. This as a it, no, it is not. It is not that they have not started. The government still opened their hand to make sure that people from Volta were adequately represented in the cabinet. Yeah. 
They were represented. So if you are elected to be represented, it becomes your Duty. responsibility yeah. to make sure that things come that, over. That is true. You know, things. Because people who go to constituencies go there to fight for their constituency, isn't it? That is true. That's what I know from that, that Nigerian point of view. That is true. That's what. So if I'm being elected now, or, or somehow, in my, so I will fight for the Igbo constituents. I will, I will go down to Abia, where I came from. Yep. That's where I will begin to fight for, yep. to make sure that infrastructures and the necessary things that are required for development go over to that side. Yeah. So these people have been in power for how many years? How many how many years? They have been, I mean, we have seen power changes from hand to hand to hand to hand to hand, and yet yes. the citizens who have voted yes, yeah. could not usurp their, 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 that position if, for something useful. If, if, the, I the, come, if I may come in here, this is uh, like so true. When, if there was a, a case in Nigeria when one of the leaders from the oil states started to agitate for independence or compensation. He was killed in prison or he died when he came out of prison. So so it's not like if Votarians, parliamentarians are like five and the other regions, the parliamentarians are 70. If Volta region parliamentarians say we want a, a, a sugar factory, or a paper factory, and the other region said, no, we want a timber company, mm -hmm. and they vote in the parliament, and the 70 people raise their hand, the 70 people will get the money for the timber, not the five people, yes, for the true. paper factory. That's true. So the Volta region, we are not much. So these are the things. <coughs> and they say we don't have cocoa, diamond, silver, all these minerals on our land. But there is a, something I heard, like a rumor, that you and laid embargo on our land that Ghana should not break our land or exp explore the land in any way till we are satisfied that we want to stay in Ghana. So I think because of that, there is no mining or exploration research going on. So now that we know these things will go on, would the government allow us? Because when Rollins was in power and he was providing boreholes for the villages, TV transmitters, the MPP party came out and said, no, we don't want this. We want a change. We want change. They started marching in the streets, citing civil rights, abuse, and all this chaos. So if I may ask now, the, the, if I may ask now, the, the voter region, they are NDC. Is it? Yeah, more. Uh, the, the majority. <laughs> the majority. The majority. Yeah. Okay. So most of so the. So in this NDC, yeah. is it only Votarians? Are there are there not other regions yeah. that are also they, they in are NDC? Also, yes. they are also so have, have the Votarians tried to line up with them so that they can they can have more um more more say in the house in the house of parliament? It seems they have they already know our needs. It seems the mm -hmm. issue of the division of the voter region has brought up to the fore the discussion about the status in the voter region. If you look, when the issue started for the division of the region, the president of the National House of Chiefs, who happens to be the head of the Asogli state in the voter region, he started making some pronouncements. And then another eminent voterian, Dr. Obeda Samoa, came out to speak his mind against the creation, why Togbi Afede was uh, speaking against the creation of the region. In fact, all these top top Botarians has been in power or have been in government for years. I will personally cite Dr. Obeda Samoa. Can I kindly or emphatically ask him today what he did in his capacity? Uh, just to be short and come in, um, Dr. Obeda Samoa is from the OT region, created OT region now. OT was part of the voter region um, when OT, uh, Dr. Obed, Obed was in power. Obed, Obed was attorney general for very long. Long time. And then he was also the uh, foreign minister for very long. Mm -hmm. But the truth is they did nothing. <laughs> Today, he is advocating for OT region. Today, he thinks that when they create that region, they will get development. Whereas when he was in power, he could have done that without creating that region. So most, what we are saying is, it is not about 
the division of the region. It is about what you are doing for the people. If they have developed the area, I don't think the agitation will be there today that the people want to separate from Ghana. And number two, the United Nations stated clearly that this state, to have union with Ghana, they have to be documents on it. Those documents, we have been looking for it till now. We want to know what is in those documents attaching us to Ghana and the conditions in it. Does, it, does the, the uh, document say that it shouldn't, it shouldn't be developed? Mm -hmm. hmm. <laughs> yeah, because we, we don't understand. <laughs> if the document <laughs> says that this area, you don't need to develop it, then we know. But we know that part of the document says that they don't have to touch our mineral resources until we ourselves are ready, we are ready to exploit it. It can also be that that is the reason why the area is left undeveloped. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it has got to the stage that we feel that we are up to, uh, we, are, we have got to the stage that we want to get charge. We want to take charge of our own resources. Have you, and have you done a peaceful prote a protest, you know, a peaceful protest? There was a lot of protests, a lot of protests, a lot of demonstrations have been going on until this division is done. Now, when you raise this topic of either development or division or separation, what happens in the, in the past was that you'll be arrested. Mm -hmm. You end up in jail. Mm -hmm. okay. And that was what happened to the old man and his group. So, uh, it is not that the people have not been talking about it, mm -hmm. but they are weak. Who is weak? The, the, the population. For years. Where it has got to now, <laughs> yeah. the youth are saying, no, it is enough for them. Uh, you are either going to listen to us. Youths, are they invisible? They are not invisible. They have secretariat. They are there. They are there. We, they are making noise. Yes. We are making yes, a lot of noise. Called several times, but we are making a lot of noise yeah. now. And, and the government is aware. Already. Three people of our youth are killed already. Oh, oh yes. Uh, if you go to hold, go today, that way. Oh, yes. If you go to hold the regional capital, mm -hmm. there is only one car <laughs> that runs through hold the regional capital. Mm. And then I ask myself. Uh, where, where, where are the other roads? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Only one single road running yeah. through the original capital. Yeah. It's one For years, up to today. Ask when I was born. From that place. What? Yeah, it's a story. You're not lying. One road. Only third road ran through the original capital. It's terrible. It's terrible. Yeah. It's terrible. Yeah. When you are coming so from... There's uh, no development at all. When you are coming from a flower... It's true. Yeah, when you are coming from a I've been there. I've been there. And I, I, I got about wondering. So it's time go to the yeah. main station. Nothing. Nothing. No development. You see, that is why some of us, uh, we don't understand when they br uh, bring out this argument that uh, they want to divide the region so that they could develop it. Yeah. Uh, we, we, I, for me, as an individual, I don't understand that theory. Mm -hmm. Because... Uh, if you want to develop the, the, the region, nobody prevents you from doing it. For example, the promises uh, uh, Eastern Corridor Road, mm -hmm. which will lessen the, 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 the number of hours from Accra to the Nothing. Northern region or to the Burkina Faso. Uh, they started it somehow, and before the change of government, the project was abandoned. That road would have opened up the whole of the whole of Volta region. At least most places would have been opened up yeah. if that road uh, were, has been constructed. Mm -hmm. So the argument that we have to divide you people before we can develop, uh, for me as an individual, it doesn't make sense at okay. all. If we have to stick to uh, the point of uh, development and division, mm -hmm. if you decide to go and set up a university in uh, uh, Jessica, yeah. which is now in the OT region, mm -hmm. What prevents you from doing yeah. it? If you want to set up a big hospital there, what prevents you from doing it? If you want to set up, a, they, they say they put police station there to arrest people. Is that it? What prevents you from setting up the police station there? Nothing prevents you to uh, building nice uh, houses there. 
exist. Do you have to divide the people into pieces? You see, to me, personally, what I think, this okay. division mm. is... They there, brought, there, there's more to this There is division. something to this division than development. If I'm coming, this government... Because, let me finish, because mm -hmm. now that they have created this scenario there, there is conflict. There is problem between neighbors, yeah. friends, families. Confusion. Confusion in the area. They have started uh, 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 killing themselves. What is it for? Because of, because of this small division they have brought there. Now, are you going to develop that OT region alone and leave the southern part? Yes, of course. Or you are going to develop the southern part also and develop the Otin part also. So our point is that they are, this is a political uh, uh, movement they, they are trying to do. And we are saying that, look, you can divide it. But the truth is that we, are not, we want to see what is in the union agreement. Is it that you, you are going to develop the whole area or you are going to select beans from rice Keep, take good care of the rice and leave the, the beans? What is What are you doing? Well, those of you who are just watching this uh, broadcast is coming live from Majestic Christian Television Network. Our topic is correcting the privation of Ghana voter region issues and solutions. Should you have something to say, please give us a call on 020 or 31 I repeat, a call on 31 one six zero. Let us know your view regarding this issue. Now, are you thinking? Are you? Are you? Are you thinking splitting from Ghana or pressing for change? Which one is better? Uh, we have pressed for change for too long. I think. I think. For and, me, and they are not listening. So if they are not going to listen, we are not talking about uh, the PLC. That I am the chairman. We are not talking about. Uh, Living Ghana, we said we want to look at the agreement that binds us together. What about if they because if, they refuse if we look to at bring it, it, if they refuse this to agreement, this if agreement, we, you spoke about it last week. Yes, if we if they refuse to and bring I it, that then the other people have been speaking about the same agree agreement. Yes, and they have refused to bring it up. Then there is something wrong somewhere. Yeah, right, if they continue to wrong, refuse, yeah. are you still going to be pressing forward to bring out an agreement? If they don't because want to bring it, I think there, sh there should be other strategies, not just to be pressing on one which is not not very relevant to them. That, that so why don't we look for a way for them to compensate for the number of years we they have deprived the voter region? The, the, youth, the youth are now preparing to leave the country because... We've Where are they living to? No, we are not living uh, uh, our land. Where are they living to? We are changing... Please, please. Yeah. One thing <laughs> that actually prevents development is it's war. internal war, war, war and conflict. Yes. Yeah. Since time that is true. Moria, the Pekis and the Chitos. Am I wrong? Yeah. The Alabano yeah. and the Whig people. Uh, 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 yeah. These four tribes have been fighting each all each other for years. And if you are having war and conflict, how do you talk about development? Oh, don't, all just don't, because don't, don't of because of that. development. All just yeah. because of development. The, the truth about if this. If no and other places, and what about Tsukokope and Muga Keta, other areas? Look, what about those areas? There is no development. That is why we are. What I am saying, what what I'm saying is, this that conflict is has been going on for years, and if you are fighting or you are creating problems within. How do you talk about development at the same time? But nothing prevents no, no. the, 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 the Let government. Let me read something from, from uh, our, our, our Facebook uh, watchers. Um, Mawuto Ray, I salute you all on the floor. Um, under development of Western Togoland, our Volta region was a deliberate government policy not to develop that area because they know the land is not for Ghana. Thank you. <laughs> that one is... <laughs> <laughs> then uh, 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 Baslamano, he says, what we need now is independence for Western Togoland. We are tired and we need to go. Where are you going to? 
Okay, so having, having on their own. independence is, is good, but when you are not prepared for it, we have to prepare you, for it. It, it costs blood. We have no, to prepare for no, no, no. it. Who is fighting who? Who yeah, is fighting so, who? Who is fighting who? Because, because no, 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 they are not going to, if they have not allowed you to move for who six will, years ago. Who, who will not allow us? Who will allow ah. us not to go? Yes. You, cannot, no, you, you know, are part of Ghana and all no, of a sudden you are How do we become part of Ghana? We are Togolese. How do we become part of Ghana? At what point did you know you are Togolese? We know it's the history of the world. That is why they can't develop that nation. This is the history of the world that we are Togolese land. The Volta River is for us. Really? Oh, yes. We are So they dam our river and it supplied them electricity and clean drinking water for years. And they sell their cocoa and diamond and everything. They take the money to develop their region and they drink our water for free. Nature's property. They have their minerals. Yes, they take it for free for 60 years. Yeah, if that is the only can tell us that we don't have If you have only electricity, we can start and you there. think that that is what will give you independence. Ghana will give yeah. us no. a lot Let's of Let me tell you, there's something called solar energy now. So, no. so hey, we no. don't, no. they can people, do don't, people don't no. need That's too much no. of that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 <laughs> that is not from somewhere. That is not going to create because right now uh, 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 the NPP government it. want uh, uh, America to come and make American base in Ghana. Mm. That is what they are claiming for. They want American base in Ghana. The MPP government, have they got coastline where Americans will bring their ship and, and their big warships and their armor cars? Have you got coastline? Or they are going to pack their armor cars and aeroplanes in their cocoa farms? <laughs> or, or is it on our land? We are going to this land. No, we are going land. No, which... which <laughs> oh, auntie. You know, they, they, we have to take care of our land because the I Bible see, says there are we certain, have a lot there of are certain pronouncements. Please feel free to call us on 023 for what's in zero. Those who are watching. Because three people if, are dead in Alavanya oh, area. Oh, 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 please. <laughs> Let us be orderly here. Yeah. If you have a cause you want to pursue, mm -hmm. there are procedures you have to apply. And sitting on radio or television, to advocate for secession from a country is amount to an offense. So the, the caucus of the movement you are talking now about should come together, follow procedure, table your grievances at the appropriate place for redress. But if you start by saying somebody is intentionally neglecting your region, and for that matter, you are getting up, you can pursue, I mean, uh, avoid, I mean, talk, uh, pursuing the... But all of these yeah, years they've been complaining. Why haven't you people listen that to that? That will not be entertained. Yeah, it will sir. create trouble for everybody. Yeah, but no, but there is an opportunity. Let me come. Let me come. See, let me come I, I, think, I think we have to get it right here. I, I don't think we are here to uh, let people revolt. Uh, no. against the Ghana government or that sort of thing. Mm. We are just speaking, uh, people are just speaking their mind of how the region has been neglected mm -hmm. and why they think if they are independent that would be more better for them. Uh, everybody has got that right to express that view. Right. You understand? Right. So for me, I and think they are also making their own point. Mm -hmm. You understand? That is right. Freedom but, is yeah, freedom, freedom is, uh, they are right. Calling. Hello, Kala. Hello? Yes, please, can you speak? Yes, uh, is it good afternoon? So, um, yeah, I was listening to the discussion being held on your, on your station. Can you turn off your radio or your device? I know you can use it for... Excuse me? Excuse me, what did you say? Is it possible you can lower your device so that we can hear you? It's echoing. I'll lower my device. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, or you can listen through your phone. <laughs> it's echoing. Is it better now? Yeah, I'll speak. Uh, excuse me, is it better? Yes. yes. Yeah, I was listening to the discussion uh, being carried out by the channel of the uh, PLC. Hello? Hello. We are listening. Where are you calling from, by the way? Yeah, I'm, I'm calling from New York. Okay. Speak, sir. 
Yeah. 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 The fact, the part of the matter is, uh, it's like uh, everybody is going around in circles, repeating the same thing over and over and over and over again. I mean, they as the executives of the PLC, they should tell us what the plans are, so that those of us who have dedicated our life that we're going to follow them, we know what we have to do. But if we should be sitting down and be talking about development, develop, development as in the let's. If it's possible, they have looked at the agreement. I'm sure all of them, there were times they put it on the platform. They know what is an agreement. The necessary result we should be taking, we should just take it and go ahead. If whoever is concerned tells us, hey, you guys are not right, then we know where we stand. Yeah. But if we should be sitting down and be talking about development, development, I don't know. I don't think uh, it's all in any in, in this thing at all. So what are you saying in that sense? Excuse me? What are you saying in essence? What am I saying? What I'm saying in essence is let's press forward. I'm I'm a very, very practical guy. What is forward? I don't believe in dancing around any subject. Yeah. Sir, our forefathers, our forward? leaders who, who led the the who led the integration. It's not even integration. There's no integration. It's supposed to be a union. So if you are in union, it's just like marriage. If you've been in marriage for so long, an abusive relationship, abusive marriage, abusive husband, and you can't take it no more, you only have to leave the marriage. So let's take it into a marriage. And let's pick our pieces. That's not the end of the world. Let's pick our pieces so that we leave better things for our offspring. You know, they're not... They're your, you shouldn't just be... I mean, right now, we are all scared to do anything because you can't fight African government. So my point, my decision is this. If we have to go to the international court of justice yes. as the, there is a portion in the uh, in the agreement which was put forward by the united nations said if there should be any grievances or there should be any arbitration it should be referred to the international court of justice okay it is in that document over there okay so once we are grieved and we don't feel like that we are being treated well well let's take out this into this thing Okay. Yeah, let's just press forward. I just want the I just want the chairman to put come out, make a video. Let's spread it and make uh, if if it's for fun, so let's make it. People are ready now. It is now that the iron is hot because of the split of the region. The iron is hot now. This is the time the blacksmith have to use his hammer to Thank shake you. the iron, the hot Thank iron. You. Well, it's always there like, are uh, thank you so who much. Are ready. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So please, let's just. Okay. Uh, the ICC is here in the heart. Exactly. Um, uh, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, people say ICC. People say Internet, International Court of Justice. The PLC has its program. Uh, he's telling me I should make a video and talk about it on. Uh, but we don't want to incite people for uh, this type of uh, program. <coughs> we want the people to understand the situation in which we are. The people who are in Western Togoland, they have to accept that they are yeah, going to go through a process. Hello, hold on, caller, please. Yeah, good evening. Yes, hello. Hello. Yes, speak. Yeah, good evening. I'm calling from Luxembourg. My name is William. Okay, thank you, sir. First of all, my congratulations goes to every one of you. <coughs> but I think the PLC chairman, what he's saying is right. For example, Ghana is married to British Togoland. And now it's time that the people of British Togoland see it that the marriage cannot work anymore. So what they want to do is divorce. First of all, I'm married to you, and I've never seen my marriage certificate before. Is that right? <laughs> Please, as a host, you are married to your husband. Have you seen your marriage certificate? Yes. But can you understand the people of British Togoland? And they have never seen their, British, their marriage certificate before. Is that nice? <laughs> we are only pressing on that to see our marriage certificate without and see the terms and the conditions about it. Now. 
I cannot hear you, please. How come you stayed for 50 or 60 years before demanding to You know, to this have thing has started since the time of 1956. You know, the problem before I'm having here, sir, sir, let me speak. The problem I'm having here is that we are in the diaspora, and we, we in the diaspora can always want to make our points known. But you forgot the life, the, the, those who are down there, who are going to be slaughtered because they may not take it the way we are taking it. So, so when they want to grab, they can't come here and grab us because we have freedom of speech. The people in Ghana, do they have freedom of speech? Those who are in they the Volta region and those also who are in the Togo region, the do they have freedom of because speech? It's democracy. So we can the easily make our points here in the diaspora. But that is not where it has to stop. So if we want to do something, I think we, we, we all, those in America, those in Europe, and all, we all have to march down home. We <laughs> march down home. And then they put, take our placards and then march around. Because if we leave it for the poor who are there, they are still the ones that they are going to kill. Yeah. Anyway, let me, let uh, me, let sorry, me just come in. Uh, the truth is, will not solve the, the PLC, the PLC, the PLC has the program. PLC find a way to go to the court and demand his right. PLC has a program, and the program is we are trying to go to the court, and the court will sit down. We, will, we want to go through a negotiated approach. We don't want anybody to die yes. because of this. We want to go through the legal process because the UN stated clearly that it stated clearly that when there is differences along the way, we can take legal matters. So that is what PLC is doing. I don't want to stand on the television or and tell the people of Western Togoland tomorrow you are in the you are you are free, you are independent, and then there's chaos. When Kwame Nkrumah was going to join Western Togoland or British Togoland to Gold Coast. He went through a process. Gradually, he was able to convince the United Nations that they should make a referendum. They were convinced, and then the referendum took place. After the referendum, they said, you have to write a union agreement, or a memorandum of understanding, which he did not do. Or he did it, we don't know. That is what we are asking for. We said we want to have a look at it. If there is none, let us write one. When we got to the negotiating table, that is where we will know where we belong. But you cannot stand up and, and, and start to shout that you are independent or you are moving away from Ghana. All of us have to see that. I, I don't think Ghana wants to go to war. And I don't think the people of Western Togoland want to go to war. That is why we say we are brothers. We have been living together for too long. We sit down and we talk about this. That is, let's start a discussion. Well, madam, I have a million dollar question I want to ask today. Do. And that is, should the people of Volta region decide to secede from Ghana, now that they have waited and the region has been divided into two, if it happens to go into a referendum or whatsoever, and the people of the Oti region decide to stay with Ghana, are you telling me the Western Togoland is going to be uh, no. the voter again divided into two, only the South? No, no. Or you are going to reverse this referendum <coughs> and then add OT back to the voter region? Now, OT is a separate region from the voter region. And for waiting, for waiting over 50 years, now that the region has been divided into two, if you secede from Ghana, it's going to be a country that is only the voter region, because they will ask the OT region whether they will want to stay with Ghana or they will join the Western Togoland. It's true. And when that happens, what will be the, the size of the Western Togoland you are advocating for now? Okay, let me, ask, let me answer you. The land, Western Togoland or British Togoland, starts from Kita in the south, to Boku in the north. Now, when you decide to cut some part, maybe a portion of Boku, and make it a region, 
it doesn't take the land, Western Togoland, away from there, or British Togoland away from there. It's like you have a plot, and you have children, and then you share, you, you cut a small part for one, one of the, 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 your, your son. It doesn't mean that it doesn't belong to the household anymore. If the child doesn't want to live in that, on that land anymore, he can go and stay at where he wants to stay. The land, he, he, he doesn't need to carry that land and go and join to another family. So if you understand this situation, the division of the Volta region into two mm -hmm. doesn't take the land away from, West, of the, from the British Togoland or Western Togoland. That land belongs to Western Togoland or British Togoland. So are you saying now that? So if there is, if there is referendum... Uh -huh. And, and the Oti region stick with Ghana. Not Oti region, because it's not going to be uh, Oti region or uh, uh, Volta region or, or Northern upper region. West or, or Upper West. Is that is not going to be. Uh -huh. If there's a ref referendum, mm -hmm. it's going to be from the top to the down. The, the, all, all the people, all the people the must vote. Majority carries the vote. Then and the majority carries the vote. And when majority says yes, then, so then are you, if the majority are you says no, mm -hmm. are you saying now that yes. from the north of Ghana, yes. as far as to Keta, yes. that's, the that's whole British Togoland. Chagota Togoland ah, yes. is what you are talking about. That yes. is what's in Togoland. But my point here is, <laughs> yes. now part of the north is part of uh, uh, Upper East region. No, it doesn't no, matter. No. Wait, it doesn't matter. matter. Uh -huh. Part of the northern region is now part of the Upper East region. Uh -huh. Another part now is the Oti region. Now, this Transvota Togoland we are referring to from the north now is three different regions now, as we sit today. We have Oti, we have Vota region, and we have Upper East. Even part of our Vota region Let is now learn. Eastern region. Let me learn, please. So, with these three regions now we are having in Ghana now, on paper, officially, if you are talking about Transvota Togoland, then it means these three One regions has to be, Ghana. these three regions has to be cancelled. That is the point that you should be looking at now. One third of Ghana is transvolta to the land. <laughs> One third of the land mass of Ghana even is during, to Even the during the One referendum third. time, you see how the vote went through. The vote goes that you can see that one third is going NDC, NDC, because those people know from the ancestors that they are transvolta to the They know. <laughs> So it doesn't matter that uh, uh, Eastern region, where the dam is, is taken from Volta region and the name is changed, is Transvolta to uh, uh, Let me just say something short. We are not talking about how many portions they divide mm -hmm. the land, British Togoland. We are talking about the land, Western Togoland or British Togoland. Whether you divide it into 10 parts ten part. or not, that land belongs to the, uh, the British Togoland or Western Togoland. Togo was divided into two. So when they divide it into two, from the top to the down, and today you cut some small part and join to Eastern region, it doesn't mean anything, it doesn't yeah. change anything. The land is not for Gold Coast. The land is for Western Togoland or British Togoland. So the people who are in the OT region there, that land is British Togoland and Western Togoland. It is not a Gold Coast land. So if you cut that small portion and name it OT, it doesn't mean that it, it does not become uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. a property Gold of, of Gold Coast. No. <laughs> so, and all these things, they are on paper. It's not, it, it's, okay. it's the United Nations. What about the Upper East region? They are, they are all part of Western Togoland. So you are claiming all that part of, of course. Yes, our own. We're, we're of yes. course. Yes. Nobody oh. forbids you from doing Thank that. Thank you. But pursue the... No, that the is what I'm saying. That, that is why I say that uh -huh. we are not going to fight. There's not going to be war. There will be, there's, there's not going to be war. We will sit down and start discussion. And before any country we must independence, negotiate. we have to check our borders. That is they are. The, all the land is there. We have to do referendum that everybody agrees. Uh, yes. If I may say this here, yeah. this is not the only place that this issue has cropped up. Okay. If you go to Spain today, the Catalan mm -hmm. eh, want to secede from Spain, and it has not been easy. If you go to the Sahrawi Arab Republic, yeah. around Morocco has annexed the place 
and it's not been easy. You call it annex already, which means it's not for them. It's not for them, <laughs> and they have annexed. But I don't. I can sit here and say whether it's for them or not. But it's an issue before the United Nations now. Fortunately, parts of Africa, certain Sudan has seceded from the mainland Sudan. Eritrea has seceded from Ethiopia. But they all pursue the proper channel. There are some that develop into war, like South Sudan and the North Sudan. Today, look what is happening in Sudan. So it is an issue that has to be treaded cautiously to avoid conflict. It's very that is why yeah. PSK uh, 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 do you know something? Retreat. It's very, very um, important. It, it, yeah. the, the truth because is that if you don't take it. Yeah, the it, truth is that if we all agree that that situation it is true, then we can sit down and start the negotiation, no. or start to talk. But who are the people you that is going to agree with the voter region? Is it the Greater Accra? <laughs> no, the no, the 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 the, 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 the Gold Coast the knows. Gold Coast. They are, they know their boundary. Yeah, the Gold Coast. The Gold Coast know their boundary. And the Western Togolan or British Togolan also know their boundary. You know, some of this division of like creating this OT region is just trying to distract the attention of the people. You see, it's it's just trying to uh, uh, bring some little bit of confusion left and right because the truth is there. Yeah, the truth is there, and these are some of the things that they make to, for instance, the OT region. Okay, uh, these people are talking about. Western Togoland moving away from, or British Togoland moving away from Gold Coast, but we will, we will take good care of you so that you people will feel at home here. But why don't you do it for the whole of the region, the whole of the region? Mm -hmm. If the people are comfortable, who is comfortable in a marriage and wants to work out? It's, but it's, you know, you have been saying If you're comfortable in a marriage, you don't work out. Yeah, it's true. It's true. But well, the fact is that you started too late. You stayed 60 it, solid years. It doesn't matter. We, to yes, okay. so we have to start from somewhere. The United somewhere. Nations say today it that the Western Togoland should revert back to join Togoland itself. No, we, no, 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 no. we are see? not joining Togoland. We are not joining Togoland. No, no, no. 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 it's a question I'm asking. No. No. We want to start their own. <laughs> yes. we, have British, Togoland. we have British Togoland. And we British have Togoland. But to be a country, do you have what it takes to be a country? We have to start from somewhere. Do you have what it takes to be We have to start from somewhere. We have everything. We have to it's start not, from it's somewhere. It's not just because you have the... I think somebody wants to talk. All right. Um, Mr. Seth, yes? Yes, sir. Um, thank you, madam. Thank you so much for allowing me in. Uh, first of all, let me say a very big thank you to all your panelists uh, for having time to share their thoughts on Ota region and Western Togoland. Uh, we thank the PSC chairman so much for the education that he's bringing to the public concerning legitimate issues such as Western Togoland. Um, Where are you calling from? I'm calling from USA. Oh, okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Continue. Uh, yes, the issue about the voter region and uh, the way the, uh, the government of Ghana is dividing it is a matter of concern that everybody is concerned about that. Uh, we all understood that the land voter region existed for a very long time, even before coming into place uh, what today we know as Ghana. We all knew that the voter region was not the original name of the place, but today we are considering it that that is the name Ghanaians has given to it and we are using it. But then when you are dividing the land, that your, your own constitution did not recognize that land, as part of Ghana, the way you are trying to divide it, you first of all have to seek the, um, the opinion of all the citizens on that land before such things should go on. You must know the history of such land because there's no region in Ghana that have no history. Every region have a history and how they became part of Ghana. We can go on and on and on, but we all knew very much well that Based on the 92 constitution, when you want to divide a region, you must seek the view of everyone in that region. And you must also not change the name of the existing region. The constitution did not say change the name. So when you are dividing a region and you are changing the name from voter region to OT region, it is unconstitutional. It is unconstitutional because the constitution did not say that even though you have the power to divide the land, when the 
need arises, you should change the name. No, if voter region is divided into two, there you must have voter north and voter south. We can have uh, western voter or eastern voter. Then if the voter region, the name itself must be there. You can't take it out. When you take the name out, you are completely going contrary to what the constitution of Ghana says. Okay, very well. We, we leave that aside. If you come to the voter region uh, as a whole, as the, uh, the PSC chairman is trying to explain, the voter region was once part of the land called Western Togoland. And Western Togoland, we all knew that it's supposed to be in union with Ghana. Western Togoland are not supposed to be part of Ghana. They're supposed to be in union with Ghana. This is what is there in the record. We have that the U UN is aware of what I'm talking about. And the, it was the UN who gave the order to Britain to make a union with the Gold Coast, which is now Ghana, with Western Togoland. So today, if the union has not been established, if you do not have the union, and today you want to divide part of that land, then the people on that land need to be concerned. They must share their total view on that issue. But the government did not allow these people to do it. They only carry on to divide the land because they say that, oh, okay, only people who petition the government are allowed to vote, which is a, a very bad precedent that has been set. That when a few people come together, petition the government and said, oh, okay, we want the region, then the government will say, okay, you people who want the region, go ahead and vote, and then we'll give you a region. If I'm asking for something and you are asking me to vote, how am I going to vote against the same thing? Something I'm asking you, how do I vote against it? And now the Constitution is saying that since the demarcation of the land will affect the existing land, then everybody in the existing land should have the right to vote. Because when you cut part of the voter region, it is not only those people who fall within the other region will be affected. Everyone in the voter region will be affected. Therefore, all of them must have a voice in creating OT region, whether OT region should be created or not. But that has not been the case. Now, when we talk about development, we all knew by the 1992 constitution of Ghana, development does not come by region. Region does not develop a region. If a region develops a region, then the existing region would have developed the existing region. Yeah. But if the existing region fails to develop the region, what is the, um, the precedence or what is the, uh, the, the assurance that when we create a new region, that's where it will develop? Sir, so sir. Yes, I think it's enough. To say. Hello, Mr. Sir. <laughs> yeah, 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 yes, I know that if I will continue to listen to you, <laughs> you will take off the floor. But the fact, the fact is this, the fact is this, um, all the facts you have, they are, they are very nice. But they are very valid. But before the division of this uh, OT or whatever, did, did they just get up one morning and just divide the OT? Were, were, were they not? Didn't they make plan? And didn't they bring it to the public? No, the people said that they were against did it. They from just, the, did they just go. get up one day and just divide OT? No, the people were against it from day one. So like, don't those of do you who know the talk. history well, and you know the records. Commission. Eh? And the, they invited views from. No, All no, people interested the in the Brobe region. Commission the the Brobe Commission sat for a very long time. And if people in the region like if you are you saying have an issue, exactly, you should have before that commission exactly. and they, put they, your case they, across. The you you waited they said, until the referendum well, because, and the region is divided. No, they said nobody has the right to draw near. Because somebody. of our time now, yeah. we will be running off. <laughs> okay. So look into the camera and tell the public how can this be rectified. Just one, one second. This How do you think this whole issue will be rectified? Because for me, I'm not advocating for um, a creation for a separate, uh, this new Togoland or whatever. I'm not advocating. I think there could be. Uh, I'm advocating for uh, infrastructure to be brought to be to be delivered in those areas. <coughs> anyway, before before me to say something, before these things can be done, we need to start a, a discussion. And this, that discussion, the, the government of Ghana is all ready for it. All right. The guy is calling me again, but I'm not picking up. Yes. So, may I hear from you, sir? Yeah, I think uh, we have One to second. broaden up the discussion on this issue. All right. I also think now they've waited for far too long. 
The yeah. region has been divided and is going to bring in a Herculean tax for the reversion of the status quo. The whole the whole transport out of the land is one third of land. It's okay. for us. We will we will later. investigate and say that our land borders are intact. Nobody steal our land. As we have started already, PLC has taken a step. So we are waiting to see how to come out of <coughs> PLC. PLC has to go to international oh, yeah, court that yeah. is here. We are very and busy and with it. We are, bring, we are very busy your with findings it. Because they'll be asking you what you are doing with international court. You can see it here and still be... So that is it. We are very busy so with it. So I want to thank every single one of you who have watched <laughs> this program. And in case you have more contributions, please feel free to contact us on plus three one two zero three three seven four one six zero or go to our website majestytv.org and drop your comment. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir, thank for you. thank you. I thank wish you. you very big success. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, every one of you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>